Let's get to the Ask Coach Cooch question of the day. This is one of my favorite times of the day where I can sit there and give advice. So are you guys ready for Ask Coach Cooch? Because who gives better advice than Coach Cooch? Nobody. I said, who gives better advice than Coach Cooch? Nobody. I said, who gives advice better than Coach Cooch? Nobody. Woo. All right, let's get to it. Hey, Coach Cooch. Boy, do I have a letter for you. Okay, I like how this starting out already. Juicy. I dated this guy and got pregnant pretty quickly. Oh, you know I hate that shit. You know I hate when you get pregnant quick. I don't like that. You know how I feel about pregnancy. We're going to go in about that probably on tomorrow's episode. Why I hate people that get pregnant early by these motherfuckers. Um, like less than four months quickly. Le- less than four months quickly. So she got pregnant by a man. Less than four months of dating him. You know I don't like that. You know I don't like that. You better get out of my face with that. You better get out of my face with that. Stupid, I know. Oh, she know me. Okay, good. I'm 33, and this is my first child and his second. Okay, not too bad. You only got one other baby mama. It's nonstop issues from there. We were together, but I broke up with him a couple of days ago. He complains that I am not financially situated and isn't prepared to really take care of my son. Meanwhile, he has trauma with anger issues and issues with his first son's mother, who is a bipolar basket case. Okay, let's take it back. He complains that you're not... uh financially situated and is it prepared to really take care of your son okay so your money's a little funny right now okay but you know what you got to do you got to get a job you got to get make sure you get your shit together we are women and we will not sit there and be broke sitting there and even if you got to sell some socks y'all know i always say that for my first book girl get your mind right get your hustle on sell some cupcakes go online learn how to cook anybody will buy food especially men so that's a hustle you could do i could tell you all the hustles i done did it all so get it together but he did know that before you had a baby bomb. All right. So he is a bipolar basket case. Well, he got a baby mother who's a bipolar basket case. And now his son is bipolar. Oh, so these people are real bipolar. Like they got certified bipolar getting checks and kids is on medicine and stuff. Okay. Another time. Okay. Another time. Okay. He feels like I wasn't honest about my financial situation in the beginning, but I just didn't feel the need to tell everything because I have my own place and I'm doing my own thing. All right. So you have your, you have your own place. You're doing your thing, but your money's a little funny and that happens. Okay. I've been here before where you got a a lot of bills, so you can't really do your thing the way you want to do it. But what gave him indication that you were not financially ready to take care of your son or is that the excuse he's trying to make so you can try to take your kid because it's like this new thing that these guys want to take take kids from people and i don't know what the fuck that's about but anyway so you gotta let me know more to that story like what how did he know your money is not right like what is making what are you asking for, for a lot of money what is the what is the deal and if you're with him what's the problem your money's a little funny he should be uh Take, you know, he should be helping you out. What's the problem? Anyway, he also hates that my family supports me because he doesn't have support from his own. Eh, 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 eh. Warning sign. Warning sign. Bitch ass nigga. Sorry, we don't say nigga on the show no more. Bitch ass dude. Warning sign. Any man that's jealous of the way your family supports you, you don't need him. Even, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I could talk to my mom every day on the phone. And I would not give a fuck if anybody say anything. Like, oh, why are you on the phone with your mother so long? I don't care. Mind your business. It's my mom. It's my family. I don't give a fuck what you got to say. But he's jealous. That's definitely a red flag for me. Warning sign. Warning sign. Now, we aren't even talking. And I'm almost eight months. Oh, so you didn't even have the baby yet? Oh, my God. Oh, you're still pregnant going through this? So what? You pregnant and broke. It don't fucking matter. He supposed to be taking care of you. What's his problem? Shit, I didn't work my whole pregnancy. I don't care about that. He made it clear. What? He made it clear that he regretted meeting me, and I'm pretty shocked. And told him he will not see his baby and know when I delivered. So I plan to remove him completely. So he told her while she's eight months pregnant that he regrets meeting her see that's see this is 
this these motherfucking men is go getting crazy. Like this is ridiculous. Anyway, after a few email exchanges and throwing low blows, now we don't communicate at all. That's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. He wanted to, you know, treat you like shit, down you, so he had an excuse not to speak to you no more. That's some bitch ass shit right there. I, I that's so corny to me. But these fellas, they do that. That's like the dude that want to go outside with his friends, so he started arguing with you so that he could go out. That's that bullshit right there. All right. Anyway, I was supposed to move in with him after the baby was born so we could focus on our family. But that's not happening now. And I'm getting a better place when I leave. Just want. Just want peace and to move on and not sure how to do it. I've been praying and I'm hoping one day we can get along for the baby's sake. Just unsure on how to move now. All right. So you already know what I'm about to say, because. This is why I don't like when you get pregnant by somebody that you only knew for four months because that's the problem. When you get pregnant by somebody that you did only knew for four months, the foundation wasn't built. And that's why it usually doesn't work out because you don't know him. He don't know you. He's trying to manipulate you. He's jealous of your family, how they treat you. Yeah, he's complaining that you broke. Um, you know, condoms are luxurious. I always tell y'all, y'all fucking with these dudes, use a condom. And also, if you're a young girl, especially um, in this day and era and age you gotta think that a man is not worthy of having your baby like you know what i'm saying like me i was the type of girl when i was young like i told you when me and my husband first had sex and probably like a few other people like i always had my own condoms because i just didn't want to get trapped by no dude and dudes try to trap me but i wasn't with it but in the end of the day i'm saying that to say like we as women gotta realize that having a baby with us is a privilege too I feel like you have a baby with me, somebody like me that take care of my kid the way I take care of my kid, the things that I show my kid, the fact that my kid knows Spanish and everything is a privilege, motherfucker. And your your sperm, every sperm ain't worthy of your motherfucking egg. Every sperm ain't worthy of it. So that's how I look at it. Like, I'm not with it. And then you're telling me that his little son got bipolar issues. So that make me think like, all right, he says it come from the mother, but we don't got no proof of that. Sound like he got a little couple of bipolar issues myself, himself. I say, listen, I wouldn't say like, oh, you're not going to see your baby. I would just live life. You already messed up. So in life, you already messed up. So just go and live your life. And he'll find you. And when he's ready to deal with his child and be a mature adult, he'll contact you. And when he does, you can let him see his child. But if he's going to be disrespectful, he could talk to the family members that he don't want to talk to or he could deal with the precinct and see his kid and at the end of the day i would never stop a man from seeing his child unless he got violent with my child if it, or touched my child if not then i say here yeah, you want to be a father great but would i contact him ever again no you know sometimes it's sad but sometimes you got to realize that there's nothing wrong with telling your kids their father died in the war which war i don't know it could be the it could have been the covid war oh yeah there's nothing wrong with telling them that their father died in COVID. And that's what you heard. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, because sometimes you're not going to be able to deal with these motherfuckers and a disrespectful ass. And I'm not going to deal with nobody's stress. And let me tell you something. I, I used to be mad at people that used to tell their kids like their, parent, their family or their father died in a war. But sometimes these motherfucking men can make shit worse for yourself. So in the end of the day, if this man decides that he does not want to be a child, ain't nothing better than a father than a great fucking stepfather and the fact that you're going through this now is gonna make you stronger it's gonna make you better it's gonna make you the bomb and you're gonna be able to attract other people and raise your motherfucking child like nothing happened if he if your baby father died in the pandemic he died in the pandemic what's the problem a lot of people died in the pandemic huh what happened nobody's stressing me the fuck out you died in the pandemic fucking with me, all right? I'm not the one. You better get out my face with that. You think you're going to be talking to me crazy, calling me broke and shit like that while I'm pregnant? You better get out of my face. Because it would be like you didn't motherfucking exist, bitch, okay? People raise their child every day by themselves. Now, do I think it's right that people go ahead and try to raise their kid and stuff like that? But this man doesn't want to be a father. He's trying to make up excuses. He already got a kid already. He's trying to make up excuses. Why he regretted the day he met me. He regretted the day he met you? He regretted the day he met you? Oh, really? He regrets it? But guess what? He won't fucking regret it no more because he would never see my black ass again. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all that. Oh, kids need to be with their father. I'm not forcing shit. So if you find me in life and you want to be a father, 
go and find me. Catch me if you fucking can, bitch. Because you're not going to sit there and stress my life out. Bad enough I'm pregnant by your yamp, corny, tired ass. And you think I'm going to hear about I'm broke and I'm this and I'm that. We supposed to move in together. All of a sudden we can't. Bitch, to believe. If a motherfucker try to play with you in your face and you leave him standing there and because you pregnant, you think you're going to be chasing him. First of all, when I was praying, I was throwing up so fucking much, I couldn't even chase my own fucking piss out my goddamn coochie. You think I'm going to sit there and chase your black ass? Motherfucker, nobody going to force you fellas to be a father. You either going to be a father or you're not. You either alive or you died in a pandemic. The war on cancer. You died from anything. Get the fuck out of my face. Get out of my face. All the way out of my face. Y'all want to sit there. You ladies want to sit there and be stressed out by these yamp ass guys. Are you crazy? You pregnant now? Deal with it. And guess what? He'll find you. Fall the fuck back. Get yourself together. Make sure you're getting your money right. And while you're sitting home pregnant, get you some education. Go get you a real estate license. Do something, but don't sit there and wait for no motherfucking man. So, rest in peace to your baby father. I pray they find a cure for the coronavirus. Now, I just want to say I thank you guys so much for watching coach cooch morning make sure you get your coach cooch merch coach cooch merch.com after this i'm going to the office and i have to ship out all of those cups so it's a lot so i'll take a picture for you guys but rest in peace to her baby father make sure that you sit in the ask coach cooch question make sure you sponsor the show show us love because nobody would have gave her advice like that mm, so sad have a nice day bye we fall down, but we get up.